passion or something like that. Welcome, Victoria. Oh, was that? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, you guys. I didn't realize you <clears throat> hit the button. <laughs> I love doing that. To you. I very, I very, so very rarely get to totally shock and awe you. A shock. <laughs> I was just, shocked. <laughs> it's just shocking and awe. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. you guys, to another <laughs> feel it real fun for we. On the 1st of September 2023 with TT and V. You know, that was pretty impressive. Speaking of impressive, Joe Weldon is here. Hello, Joe. All right. So, and it's your manifesting questions <laughs> answered live. Because dead sucks. It does. Hello, Coral. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Coral. So go to easymanifestingmethods.com. Go there, do that, sign up. I just helped someone today because they were having problems getting signed up. I can help you sign up if you got problems, right? <laughs> if you got <laughs> yeah, yeah. problems. So, so, so send <laughs> me a texty thing. Problems. <laughs> right? Darkery, yo, Alessandra. Hello, Valerie. Uma, 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 Shaga. <laughs> yeah, you know, to, to the first time watcher, it must seem like I am totally fucking possessed. Oh, no, people would watch <laughs> and be go, oh, I don't know about this guy. Exactly. <laughs> Shocked. Or her, because she's laughing at him. The what? always impressive <clears throat> yes. Joe Welton. Join your 90-day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. I just made a yummy podcast about Matthew Superwin. Joe, you got to check it out. And there's also a new page at freenevel.com on that, which will be updated shortly, mm. like in later. Later. Yeah. And for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. Dontario. All right. Is he here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like I just Ontario. spontaneously sing. I just. Well, you do. I do. I do. I'm, I'm like. I'm like a lovely man with Tourette's. You are. That's right. I bet that'll offend someone. God, people are so offensive. I mean, offended. I mean, like. Anyway. These days. Frank, welcome to the show. Hello, Frank. So, Victoria, shall we dive in with Rosa via emails, money revision question? Okay. So the first question today is from Rosa, via email. Money revision. And Rosa asks, All right. in a revision video, you said the electric bill was going up, but if you imagine making more money, it won't bother you. I understand, but can we revise that they stop doing dumb shit so prices go down? Cool. So, so I'm going to revise <clears throat> that you joined Manifesting Mastery course three years ago. So anyway, uh, next question. Okay, thanks, Rosa. They, that was one. By the way, let's keep going, right? Okay. Because this is what's cool. I don't give a shit, right? So in my fifty-seven years of life, I started. I became aware of bills. I was paying bills at like when I was ten. Right? Ten. Oh yeah, I'd take the money, I'd walk <clears> to the <throat> bank, and I'd pay the bill. What bill? Oh, like the electric bill. Oh, you take mum's money and yeah, walk to the bank. Yeah, the bill needed paid, or else we didn't have TV. Right. Right. <laughs> okay, it wasn't so, your so, money though. Well, no. No. So I'd go pay the bill. Right, yes. and I can tell you, since over the past forty-seven of my fifty-seven years, the electric bill has continued to go up. It has. It has. Right. Yes. So, so I really don't care. So, so that's the that's the circle. Mm. Neville talks about the circle, and when you're asleep, the circle is what matters. The circle is what happens. Right. That's it. Pauline Walker, welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Had loved our chat. So, yes. Actually, it was a yummy dance, but I digress. Yes. So here's the thing, right? I know people that are making the same amount of money that they made about 10 years ago. Yeah, some of them have got a cost of, uh, cost of living increase. That's a sta thing that they say in the U.S., maybe here. We do, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and, and so they get like an extra 2% per year. So if you're making $10 a year and you get a 2% raise for five years in a row, you're making like $11. Right? That's nuts. On the other hand, right, you, you could you could imagine, right, if electric if the electric bill, you know, went up and you doubled your income and worked half the time, how would you react to the electric bill? Yeah. Right. Am I pleased having an eleven hundred dollar electric bill? Let's be honest. <laughs> I would rather have eleven hundred dollars worth of scotch. <laughs> right. However, when it goes from seven hundred to eleven, I really don't give a shit. Mm. It's like you know what? I, what I will do is dial up my level of service. So, so this is really important because really what does my core value come to? How can I give? How can I serve? Mm. So uh, let's begin there. Rosa, stay tuned because I will continue to answer this and explore it more because this is the one that we're setting the stage with. You set the stage for today's show. Thank you, Rosa. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and 20. Ooh, uh, actually, 
Mm. Ashley. <laughs> so the next question is from Dream Driven Day. Jess, why do bad things happen to good people? And Jess asks, why do bad things happen to good people? Why do narcissists exist? This is really cool. Mm. So I'd never manifested up a puppy or a car or a wife. Mm. God. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's looking at me. At he's looking at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> right? I never manifested up a puppy, a car, or a wife. And yet I continue to have a puppy, a car, and a wife. A puppy, a car, and a wife. Hmm. So what did I give life to? I gave life to an experience a state, a happy, loving puppy dad, happy, loving husband, happy, loving teacher, uh, a joyful BMW yes. owner. Joyful. Right? So it all comes back to me. By the way, for those of you who don't have state stacking, go get it. I think we own statestacking.com. Would somebody let me know? And if he doesn't, then they can. Uh, if they don't, I got to. <laughs> they've got a store.com. I look up state stacking. We've done shows where I've claimed <laughs> on a website and we get off and I go, oh, I don't own that. I hope nobody else does. So I believe statestacking.com will take you there. If not, you can find it at nevergottedstore.com. But the whole thing is at the top of your stack, if you have identity, now, the thing is, so we'll go back to this whole thing with narcissist, right? Mm. You didn't manifest up a narcissist like I didn't manifest up a puppy. But, but, but it dominated the mind in some way. And I love that you asked this because uh, who here remembers hashtag Guadalcanal? Guadalcanal. Guadalcanal. Is that like a <clears throat> riverway or is that a person? Uh, that was a war, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Neville's son imagined no, himself no. into Guadalcanal, right? Uh, he just became fascinated by it, absorbed by it, and suddenly he finds himself da -da -da -da, yeah, at war, yeah, at the war in Guadalcanal, right? So this to me is part of the cool thing because we just get to notice what do you what are you feeding yourself? I, f I find that really fascinating. Uh, I actually got another client who uh, you know, years ago we were talking, and it's like one in twenty people are a narcissist and or a sociopath or something. And we went through this whole thing, and he kept talking about it. And you'll never guess what showed up in his life. Lots of them. Yeah, more, more than one, right? <laughs> he, the average human being knows two hundred people. When you die, an average of two hundred fifty people come to your funeral. That means one. So that means two hundred divided by twenty. I mean, 10 of the people at your funeral are whack jobs, right? Now, the whack question jobs. is, how, how, much do, how much time do you spend or with more. those whack jobs? Do you, are, you, are, you, are you still married to them? Are you are yeah, That kind job. of thing. <laughs> yeah. So why do bad things happen to good people? Uh, I think that's a good start. But stay tuned, Jess. We're going to continue to answer your question. And uh, who was the first one? And Rosa. And Rosa's question, too. Yes. Right, because you'll notice today's theme is making it all about you. Not really. It's about letting it be all about you. Because it really is all about you. Statestacking.com. I hope we own that. Somebody, Gaza, Darkery, somebody <laughs> go and let me know. Yeah, so, somebody, so, so, somebody, <laughs> yeah, Darkery's the whack job. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we've got bogans in, in Australia, right? They're, they're pretty much like American I love rednecks, this. right? So when I first came here, you didn't know what it meant. I had no idea. They were trying to explain it to me. And what's a bogan? What's a bogan, and right? And so, yeah. and so we we ended up at the end of a, of a week long training. We went to this really cool restaurant up in the mountains with scenic overview. Beautiful. And yeah. the woman who, expensive. Yes. And the woman who became my sister in law came and grabbed me. Am I telling this fairly accurately? Yes, you yeah. are. So she took me downstairs to the wedding reception. Oh, having a okay. wedding up there. Okay. So, so it wasn't our wedding reception. No. But there was a wedding reception going on. And she said... You walked in the door. We walked in the door. And she said, look around and tell me where the Bogans are. And I'm looking, and there are all these people. They're all dressed up all snazzy and shit. They're all and, and I and I, said, and, I, and I And I said... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. They're all stirred at us because <laughs> we just came off of a mountain or something. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, it's like, right, yo, I don't see them. And she goes, we're the Bogans. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was excellent when that, you told me that story. Oh, that was fabulous. <laughs> you have, to, you have yeah. to ask her about that. You'll see her this weekend. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let us continue to answer Rosa, Rosa Jess's, and, Jess. and Dontario's question is next. Next. That's right. No one laughed. I think so. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, no, I understand nobody, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I guess you got to be an Australian <laughs> to Look get it. Look up the word bogan, yeah, then you'll understand. Yeah, just translate it to redneck. You know, you'll, you'll get yeah, it. Redneck. Yeah, redneck. West Virginian. Yeah, Frank understands. That's okay. right. Okay. 
The next question is from Dream Driven Day to Ontario. They're still not laughing. So I <laughs> There's still okay. nobody laughing. That's incredible. <laughs> the next question is from Dream Driven Day to Ontario. Why is change happening so fast? That's right. And Ontario asks, why is change happening so fast? Everything is moving quickly. Advancements in, in every change is so fast. All right. I guess, yeah. All right, ready, Ontario. Mm. You're faster than you think. And that's literal is, is in so many ways because we have to confine ourselves to the speed of thinking. And some people, you're faster than you think. And when you mm. stop identifying with thought and you notice that you're what gives rise to thought, like the ocean gives rise to the waves, uh, Darker is laughing. All right. Yes. <laughs> Good on you, Mark. <laughs> so, so the more you play, the more you can play. And there's the thing, Gezza says, how fast you imagine. When you get how fast you actually do imagine, because a lot of people, they, they go, right, go, I'm going to do 15 minutes of the state of sleep, four hours of brainwave recordings, 52 minutes of, and it's, they, they focus on all this slow stuff versus Neville Goddard teaches you can move in the twinkle of an eye. Mm. And that's important for what's coming next. So you're discovering that twinkle of an eye. Pre asked, have they answered my question yet? No. No. I, okay. I love yes no questions. <laughs> yeah. Victoria, do you want to? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's All right. right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah. See, Twinkle of an eye. See, I like complex questions. So, like, Victoria, do you want to be on time now or later? <laughs> I'll come later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be on time later. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Don Terrio, for your question. Hoo-ha. I think I even call him Don Terrio in the edits. Oh, you have to. <clears throat> well, I have to now. Uh, yeah, that's his name. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. The next question is from Dream Driven Day, Amanda. Amanda. Um, imagining monthly business income. All right. And Amanda asks, I've just started a new business and I have a figure in mind for a monthly income I would like to earn from it. How do I imagine that? Thanks. All right. So I'm going to make a few suggestions. I'm going to change this instead of from monthly income to uh, daily income or maybe moment by moment income. Because here's what happens. Oh, look, at, look at her, look at her, look at her, right? <laughs> Remember, I'm the narrator. She's the show, <laughs> right? Somebody hashtag that. Where the, where the hell is Dr. Brian? I don't know, but I, I think I Ashley's here. I, yeah, Ashley's here. <laughs> hashtag where the hell is Dr. Brian, right? <laughs> so, yes. so, 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 so monthly income. Okay, by, by the way, this may or may not work for you. I personally, I'm not a fan of manifesting numbers. Numbers seem to always be involved with cortisol or often suck people into cortisol, yeah. right? Yeah. So it gets really weird, right? We're shooting for our 10th year anniversary. Ah, good right? luck. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like we're at year nine. <laughs> 362 yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got to put up with it for 362 more days. Right? Something like that. So, so, so monthly income. I, I get there's a dollar figure that matters. There's a dollar figure that matters to me. But what matters more to me is that richness of experience, the qualities of life, what my typical day is like. And, and, and this is where a trap shows up because people go, because, see, I go to the market and I used to carry cash. I don't anymore. I got out of the habit with the COVI, you know, COVID thing, right? So, <laughs> yes. yeah, ding a ling a ling. So I use the card now. So, so they, they hold up the machine. I tap the card. It makes a beep. And I get the same, it makes the same beep whether it's a credit or a debit. Does it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, she doesn't even know. Well, I know you've yeah. always got to push. Is it one, two, or three? And I'm always like, I don't know what two. it is. is the it, the is answer it? is always two. Is it? Always two. <laughs> the answer is always two. Right? No matter what you can. Always, always grab the middle option, right? <laughs> okay. So, so, so beep. Now, if I know it's a credit card, see, I know it's a credit or a debit experience. A debit experience is I already have the money. A credit yes. experience is I'll pay for the thing later. For the thing, for the seven dollar thing over the next three years, <laughs> right? It's a different feeling on the inside. Plus three times interest. Plus three times the interest, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> monthly business income. So there are a couple of ways. So you got a dollar figure in mind, and there's some ways you could imagine what would imply that. Like how many happy. Uh, 
here's my business formula. Huh? I want people to pay me what I want. I'm sorry, people who love what I do, pay what I want, and refer others to who do the same. Mm. And a lot of you do that, right? Mm. You love what I do. Some people don't, and they still watch the show. Fascinated by that. <laughs> Some people who love what I do, pay what I want, and refer others who do the same. And that includes getting things like testimonials and emails and, and repeat purchases and all that stuff, right? Mm. So I don't know what your business is, but what are you imagining about your clients? How would that look? What would you experience with that if you were making the dollar figure that you choose? Mm. Right. The other side of the coin is when I go to the market and the olive oil is, watch this. Do you have any idea what we pay for olive oil? Nah. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I have no idea. But they love but, it. But, but they always they always say something like, oil. <laughs> "Oh, twenty, I will give you a dollar off." And and it's like, I never even look at the or machine. Oh, yeah, have a free zucchini. Oh yeah, have like, a free zucchini, whatever. This messy marrow. <laughs> yeah, so so I just like I just tap the card. I really don't care. Mm. Right, I, I just there's this level of of I'm not worried if there's enough money in there. So there, there are these going to be different things that you can imagine, mm. so that you know. Uh, my big one service. Yeah, you know, like I just imagine every week Lisa Ann LaRock sends me a cool little thing, right, you know, for the show. Mm. That, to me, is in response to service, right? She loves what we do. She pays what we ask. She refers others who do the same just by asking the questions. Yeah. You got it? That's an endorsement for me. Yeah. Right? And for her. And for each of both of us. Mm. So this is the kind of thing I'd imagine up. Because it gives you that richness of experience versus I did or didn't hit the dollar figure. And here's why I say... Instead of going monthly income, make it weekly. Oh, fuck weekly. Go to daily. Don't just go to daily. Go to minute by minute Good income. Hour, yes. right? And what happens is there are some days of the month where nobody buys shit. There are some months of the year where things get a little slow. Yeah. So if you're saying, right, so it's $10,000 a month, mm -hmm. right, you know, and then you have a $9,000 month, you're going to slit your wrists. But then yeah. you have a $15,000 month and you go, let's raise it to 15000 yeah. And then the next month you have 12 and yeah. you're upset because you didn't get to 15 like you did before. And there's that cortisol hell Yeah. versus the richness of experience, right? If I actually had a business that was profitable, continues to be profitable, grows in profit, grows in its impact. Too, 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 too. So there's a long answer to a short question. That's very lovely. But oh, stay tuned, good. Amanda. Perhaps we'll address this as well in different ways later. As well as with Priya. Rosa, Ontario, uh, Jess. Yeah. Yes. And then Priya. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. You still there, oh, Priya? <laughs> I just saw my dog outside. Did you? I got Are one we dog on the inside. Bark soon? <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, it's fine. No, he was just doing a trot. Oh, so. Nice. Okay. The next question's from Priya on Facebook. That is a right. Beautiful identity. Lorna and Heather, welcome <clears> to the <throat> show. Hope, welcome to the show. Hello, Hope. <laughs> <laughs> And Priya asks, how do I talk about a condition without owning it? Someone asked me while I was wearing a headscarf while I was working out and it was fr freaking hot out there. I told her I was balding and the moment I said that I regretted it. <coughs> Excuse me. It felt like my identity, which I didn't want. I'm playing to feel beautiful with thick, full hair like I've always had. Right, so I was imagining being an Australian <laughs> back when I was an American, right? And so, like, I'd come into the country on my American passport and the last purpose of my visit to Australia, and I'd say to hang out with a pretty chick. Yeah, that, kind of, that actually is not a legal reason to visit Australia. You have to say friends, family, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, tourism, <laughs> right? But, so I'd come into the country, and I'd say purpose of your visit to Australia, but I'm already imagining being a citizen, Right? So I don't dare lie. Right? On the other hand, I, 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 I don't dare lie. Right? So if, if you if you got a headscarf on and you feel more beautiful today with that headscarf on than you would without it, just tell them, yeah, I feel prettier. I feel more beautiful this way with my headscarf. And it's not the words. It's actually noticing, like, like where, find a, a level of truth where you come from. Where you express and explore that beauty, mondo, mondo, mondo. So, so, because that's the seed time where, yes, she said she was boarding, but she instantly regretted it. That's yep. the seed time. Exactly. So, yeah. Whereas the seed time, like you just said, is I feel prettier this way. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, I love. 
and my hair doesn't get in the way as well when I'm working out when it's tied back. So, so beautiful <clears throat> with thick, full hair. Mm. Uh, it's cool. It's a subset of beautiful. Mm. So, so if you're asking yourself today, what's the most beautiful way that I can express myself? Tomorrow, there'll be a little bit of a different way that shows up. Mm. The day after will be a little bit of a different way that shows up. And at some point, you'll have that hair. And you won't even know when you got it. Like your elbows. Like my elbows. My elbows were screwed, man. Mm. Back when we were first doing the project here, and I discovered this thing called heavy-ass firewood. Mm. We, we have heavy-ass firewood here. I, I mean, it's like concrete. Mm. And uh, I, after carrying in heavy-ass firewood, I discovered I wouldn't be able to type for two days. Mm. That's not a way to build a business. I either freeze to death or type. Yeah. Right? <laughs> or freeze to death yeah. and type. Anyway, yeah. it wasn't a good combo. And I just imagined being satisfied at the end of the day. Yeah, just satisfied with my work at the end of the day. And then suddenly I noticed I've been typing for the longest time. Fire's going. If yeah, fire's yeah, going, I haven't froze today. Hurt. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Alessandra, thank you. Mm. Cool. All right. Cool. Okay. That was for Priya. All right. Thank you very much for your question, Priya. Alona, Alona, Alona. Not the fence. That's Bruce. Okay. He's at the fence. <laughs> I always check where is yeah, the bark where, Yeah, from. where is the bark coming from? <laughs> Cross the creek is not good. <laughs> no, we, we don't do that no more. Okay. The next question is from Dream Driven Day Robin. Hitting bottom and then going even lower. This might be my strawberry bit. Is it? Might be. We'll find out. And Robin asks, why do some people never change, no matter what? They would could Cause, be because they're dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> they could be grinded down into sand, hit with hard times that could potentially teach them yet lessons, yet still they remain the same. <laughs> cool. So I, I've been to a lot of twelve-step meetings. I was trying to understand what the fuck was happening when a friend of mine was really in a dark place. <clears throat> so I went to a lot of twelve-step meetings, and of course I was honest. I said I don't have a problem, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah. So when you go to a twelve-step meeting and say no, 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 I don't have a problem, right? <laughs> it's my yeah, nephew yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, so some of y'all get that joke. Yeah. Right? So, but it's true. Hmm. So I went and I went and I went. And one of the things that I heard a lot of people talk about was hitting bottom. I'm not a fan of hitting bottom. And, and this is one of those things where I always tell people, scan for differences. Right? So some people live by the philosophy of, well, he still hasn't hit bottom yet. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How low can you go? Oh. On the other hand, Neville Goddard says you can move in the twinkle of an eye. And you get and, and free will ends. You can choose you can choose any you can choose to accept or reject any state after that free will ends. And you can move in the twinkle of an eye. And that to me is the cool thing because some people they they imagine I have to hit bottom. Right? Yay. Right? Not a fucking fan. Right? By the way, been there. Mm. I was the tough guy. Right? Let me see how much of this I can put up with. Oh, mm. not a fan. Mm. So you can move, you can change your direction, your speed in the twinkle of an eye. What does that say about you? Wow. So uh, why do some people never change no matter what? They do have free will. Everyone's got free will to accept or reject a state. And you can move in the twinkle of an eye. So, so here's your number one duty, as far as I'm concerned. And Neville said, if you honestly, if you really believe me, you will not pass another without lifting their cross. Oh, you're not yeah. For them. He, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Neville doesn't say you have to listen to them ramble about their shit. Mm. Neville doesn't say you have to give them blood. Mm. Neville doesn't say you have to give them your time. But, but, yeah, if you honestly believe, Tony Doyle is in the room, twinkle of an eye. Mm. So, cool. Mm. Very cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Here's an. Here, yeah, I'll grab this. They're hit with hard times that potentially could teach them lessons. Cool. We didn't come here to learn lessons. This is another one. The little tiny distinctions, right? As far as I'm concerned, as far as I can tell, and I was one of these people. We came here to learn life lessons to free ourselves from the cyclic effects of karma, 
right? I used to actually, actually teach that shit. Yeah. On the other hand, you didn't come here to learn lessons, to have hard times that will learn you lessons. Mm. Right? That sounds very West Virginia-ish to me. Boy. Bargain? Oh, no. <laughs> that too, right? Yes. So, but... But you can discover the truth about you that sets you free at any time. We came here to do that. So we came here to explore, to experience, to discover who we are and how this works, to live out the pattern. And so for that, right? So we don't need to learn lessons. They don't need to learn lessons. They, people are dumb, mm. right? Most of them don't know the math that matters. <laughs> Anybody know the rule of 72? Type it in. If you know the rule of 72, type 72. Right? Anybody know compounding? As far as I'm concerned, those are the only two maths that matter. Right? Study them. Hoo-ha. See, we'll call that a side note, a bonus, something that could really benefit. Anyway, I bet Tony Doyle knows the rule of 72 and knows about compounding, but I appear to digress. Appears. Okay. That's right. Excellent. All right, so that was for Dream Driven Day, Robin. That is. Thank the you rightness. very much for your question, Robin. That is the welcome, the rightness. <laughs> the next question is from Dream, Dream Driven Day, Faith. What are lots of buns in the oven? And I gotta have faith, faith, faith. And faith, I gotta have faith. Explain lots of buns in the oven, please. I don't have the thing, but I don't think I have lots of buns. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to toss this out, right? Mm -hmm. As far as I can tell, your self-concept is a collage. I'm just setting a stage with that. More on that to come. I just ponder that. Mm -hmm. So this whole thing of like having lots of buns in the oven, something else that I notice with people is they have, always have lots of things to worry about. There was the loogie. There were the lockdowns. There were... Uh, uh, what else happened? The, the, the vaccinations, the anti-vaccinations, the fact that the anti-vax people are going to hurt the vax people, and just all this bullshit. Then there was the political bullshit. And like about a year ago, they started coming out with tinnitus is an early warning system to let you know you probably are going to get dementia and go nuts. So then your tinnitus drives you nuts, right? And, it, and it's really fascinating to me because people will put a lot of shit in the show, a lot of crap in their coffee cup. We're designed to have lots to. to to, to experience a lot of variety, to experience a lot of stimulation, as as to 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 just you know, there's a lot going on. And one of the things that I notice is a, a lot of people they only put one or two buns in the oven. I've been feeling it real for 15 years for this one, one wish. One thing, yeah. And it's like, wow, tell me what are you doing? And then he tell me, and it's like you're not even feeling it real, right? You're yeah. you're doing all sorts of crazy shit. So Trying they'll do all kinds up. of crazy <laughs> shit, yeah, right, for one thing. Mm. On the other hand, as soon as I feel a desire, I move into its assumption. You should see me go shopping. Some of you have gone shopping with me, right? Talk about lots of fun. The other day I bought, uh, what's that cheese that Coral's always sharing with us? Because oh, they Meredith actually, Dairy. Meredith yeah. Dairy, right? That's they actually, cute. you guys in America no, have it as well. Oh, right? it's just Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Meredith Dairy. Marinated feta. Uh, marinated feta. In a Meredith glass jar. Dairy. In really a glass yum. jar. Right? Mm. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, but when I go shopping, I start surrendering to desires. You should see the shit that ends up in my shopping cart. Mm. And that's that whole thing of having more buns and more buns and more buns in the oven. I never find myself looking for signs because I always have... It's like ordering shit off of the online. I go to the online, I go to the Amazon on the online, and I always got shit coming. And Victoria, every now and then, she will ask the dumbest question in the world. <laughs> do I? Yeah, do you know what it is? No. Hey, do you have anything coming? Oh, yes. Really? <laughs> do I have anything coming? And <laughs> right, I've got like two different shipments of cigars out there, some nutritional bullshit. Yeah, you notice I spend money on stuff that will kill me and stuff that's good for me. Right? So I'm into this, this thing called balance. Because when you join them together, you're yeah, all the same. That's yes. right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, lots of buns. Just think unlimited access to I like Amazon that. I think you said you say your concept of self is more like a collage. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That, absolutely. That really fits. Y'all yeah. just scan for that. Don't mm. teach it. Don't try to fix anybody with it. Mm. Just notice, because this mm. is going to show up in some stuff we do either later this year or next year. Mm. But, uh, hoo -ha. Very cool. <laughs> I just love seeing comments, and I have no idea what y'all are saying to each other. So I just, this is great. I love the family here. <laughs> All right. And the last question today, I think it's your last question today, 
is from Remarkable Lisa. Lisa and LaRock. Pleasure, purpose, passion. So I told you we'd get to it. There you go. Well, actually, I didn't tell you. I just hit the go button while you were trying to figure I know. it out. <laughs> I thought play was in there or something, so that's why I was saying. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Hello, 20 in Victoria. Yo. Hello, Lisa. Uh, and it's a quote, do not fear, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. <laughs> and Lisa goes on, spring planting is done entirely for my pleasure. My garden is beautiful and abundant. When I eat for my pleasure, I am fully satisfied. Meal time is dopamine delight. <laughs> uh, wait till you see ours today. <laughs> but if I make food choices which are based in reason, dinner is served in camp cortisol's mess hall. <laughs> oh, why is pleasure one of your three big P's? Thank cool. you, Lisa. Right. So, uh... Well, I think that sums it up. I think otherwise I, I, it becomes camp cortisol. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you'll notice there are people that have purpose. Save all the whales. Save the earth. Save something. Save some money. Right? And there are people that have passions. Uh, they just love little red dry sickles or something. Right? Yeah, fuck, I don't know. People get passionate about the weirdest things to me. Uh, but 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 I'm a real big fan of passion. I'm a real big fan of purpose. You get that shows up in pretty much all that I do. But here's the biggie. Pleasure. Because if you're not enjoying, if your purpose and your passion aren't pleasure oriented, then you, then you'll, I can guarantee pretty much you find yourself at war with something. And, and to me, to be at war with food, I mean, oxygen is something pretty much people do totally out of awareness. Uh, what was that? Oxygen. Oxygen. It's something most people do pretty much entirely out of awareness. Yeah. Like some of you yoga people, you know, you think about it a little bit. Right. Well, we breathe. But yeah, you breathe, right? Yeah. If you're swimming, if you're underwater, yes. scuba, that kind of thing. <laughs> but for the most part, I mean, when I think about food, my buddy Dan Johnson, Dan's one of my long-term clients. He's one of the original scouts. Mm. So I've had, I've known Dano for years. And so Dan, uh, when he saw we were yeah, just doing different things with food and putting up our food videos, he sends me a link to a book called something like The French Diet. And The French Diet was real simple. It was like, Eat real fucking food and enjoy it. Right? If you're going to drink milk, drink real milk. If you're going to eat cheese, eat real cheese. If you're going to eat meat, eat real meat. Right? Yeah, get away from the factory shit and actually start just enjoying what you eat. Mm. So love what you eat, eat what you love, that kind of thing. I noticed years ago we've got these crackers called Shapes. And I'm going to tell Chets you, well. no, we're not even going to Cheds. Right? <laughs> shapes are evil. <laughs> and they make a bacon shapes. <clears throat> and the problem with bacon shapes is you like you eat the whole box and then they're stuck in your teeth and you gotta brush yeah. your teeth. And then it hit me one day, bacon is better for me than bacon chet or bacon crackers. Yeah, shapes, yeah. So I yeah. so I just went nuts and started buying bacon. Mm. So uh I think that's mm. pretty good. But that whole thing of pleasure. Yeah. Uh, here, here's another side of the coin. People will do what feels okay because they refuse to feel what feels wonderful. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, people will settle for okay. And I'm not a fan of settling for okay. But it's sort of like doing a show. See, I can't even go to there. But anyway, pleasure. You get how much we love doing this? That's nice. Mm. All right, I think we answered that. Cool. Boom. Excellent. All right. Okay, so thank you, uh, Lisa, for your questions. Uh, 20's got crab, and thank you, 20, uh, for all your answers. All right. And what we want to know is tell us what was your hashtag, strawberry bear. That's right. Um, I like how service came up with a lot of them. Cool. And I can see that because some people could just live entirely for service, whereas when you make it those three Ps, service is yeah. a lot around purpose. Yeah, really nice. You know That's I mean? good. You drew that off. But it's really to have nice. the pleasure and the passion with it, um, that's when I just, yeah, beautiful. My mom wasn't big on cooking. My mom's a lovely lady, but she wasn't big on cooking. Mm. And I, honest to God, besides when she made cake and said, Do you want to lick the, the bat? Oh, the, 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 yeah, the yeah, beaters. Thing, the I beaters. used to love this. <laughs> right? I don't really recall her ever saying, You've got to come taste this. I, on the other hand, when she cooks or I cook, I bet you almost every meal that one of us is around, it's like 
Yeah, smell you, it. You, you got to smell this. You got to taste this. Don't take any more. <laughs> yes. Right. So, so, wait. <laughs> so, so that whole thing of the pleasure, the mm. pleasure of the preparation, the pleasure, you know, it's it really is that whole thing of pleasure, purpose, and passion. Mm. It just bring that to a meal. Mm. Tony Doyle, he just asked a question. Oh, what's your bacon bit? <laughs> <laughs> your bacon bit. <laughs> That's nice. You and I should run with that. We're Tony and uh, Doyle and I are going to do something cool. Bacon bits. So uh, yeah, yeah, you got bacon bits in the freezer. <laughs> I got all kind of bacon. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> all kind of bacon. That's right. Cool. Okay, so that was our hashtag strawberry bits. All right. While you type in yours, or Tony types in his bacon bits. <laughs> Go to easymanifestingmethods.com. Go there. When you get that confirmation email, click on the link inside. If it gives you the, if it gets lippy with you saying he's a different lippy. email address, <laughs> email me, right? I, I'll work it out for you. Cool. Tabitha. <laughs> Tabitha. Tabitha. Join your 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. That is the rightness. Mm. Oh, who signed up today? Ben. 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 I can't sing that Ben song. So, Ben, welcome to the show. Or the cool. course. That's right. Here's the latest one today. <laughs> and for refunds, visit our. For refunds, visit your. It is uh, our. We're not. <coughs> we've done your. For refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. That is the rightness, everyone said. Lisa and Larock, thank you. Really great show. That is oh, right. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Ashley had bacon and eggs for dinner last night. And apparently, Brian was sleeping. That's why he was oh. hungry. <laughs> But Mark said wake him up, but That's right. she didn't. <laughs> Poke the bear. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Victoria. Yes. Remember we have a yummy lunch? We do have a yummy and lunch. And everyone's got to tune back in in about two... Oh, we'll figure out the time. But tune in later for lunch. Love okay. you guys. See ya. See ya.